Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Mayor's Minute. If you can't tell, I'm sitting next to the current President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Windsor, Dr. Alan Wildeman, who will become on July 1st the President Emeritus and Vice Chancellor Emeritus as well, and Vice Chancellor Emeritus of the University of Windsor, someone who's done a great job in the City of Windsor and for the University of Windsor for the last 10 years. Alan, thanks for being here. You're welcome, good to be here. So when you came here 10 years ago to the city, you probably had your own impression back then, and I guess I would ask you, what was your impression then, or how has it changed over the last 10 years now that you've spent some considerable time here? You're just struck by, by the passion people have for the city. We're just struck by it. And uh, it's, it's very hard to be here and live here and not get, get caught up in it, get swept away with it, because it is really special. Before I knew I had the job, our friends said to me, as many have said, Windsor, like why are you sitting in Windsor? And I said, it's the Saskatchewan of Ontario. It's a place that people say, well, I drove through it once on my way to Florida. It's like I drove through Saskatchewan on my way to BC. But it's a place that's overlooked. It's a place where it is deemed to not be as, uh, as relevant as the big urban centers. What, what are you going to do when you're down here? You're going to take some time off. I know you and Deborah are headed to Italy. We're going to take a little vacation. Yeah, well, first of all, I, I guess July and August will be uh, going to reconnect with family and a few friends and also also just wake up in the morning and, and uh, have a different outlook a little bit and say, okay, now, now what are we going to do? I do want to, uh, and this is not an advertisement, I would be fun if I can do it to do another album. So I didn't know Alan was a musician in his free time. And I came to, I didn't know this until the night, but this was a couple of years ago, maybe four years ago, when David Ford was on campus right. at one of the halls. Right. And I go and sit down and David Ford was absolutely incredible. You should look him up on YouTube uh, if you have a chance. And then the special guest they call out was the president himself who picked up a guitar and uh, you had a couple melodies that you sang and they were great. I think you got a standing ovation from the audience that night. People were generous. My passion for, for singing songs far exceeds my talent. So I don't know how far <laughs> it will go. I'll tell you that, but uh, I've also enjoyed doing that. So uh, this is, I guess, probably a bittersweet time for you. You probably look back. Uh, is there one thing over the last 10 years that stands out most to you? Oh, it's the people. Uh, I can tell you right now, I can walk around the campus, I can go downtown, and I feel really excited about where things are going. But when I start talking to people about what we've done over the last 10 years, that's when it really hits me. What happened in the downtown is something really important. Obviously the Army's project is something that I think is the envy of cities across this country right now. Having a coming together of the city, the university, the college helping us out to transform that building that has meant so much to so many families throughout history to bring it back to life for the arts is amazing. So, Alan, it was, it was uh, absolutely my pleasure uh, to present you with the key to the city. Really, I, I can't think of someone more deserving uh, to give that key to the city to uh, than you. And I was happy to do it. And obviously, the uh, University Board of Governors uh, did approve renaming the, or I guess naming, the uh, School of Creative Arts, the Alan Wilden, Alden Wilden, Alan Wildeman Center for Creative, Creative Arts, Arts yeah. where the TBQ used to sit. That's right. That's right. It was a real honor and I was, I, I was and am very, very moved by it. And it, it means a huge amount to me and, and, to, and to Deborah. The key to this city was also very moving. And I know that it's not something that you've done a lot, but uh, as I said, the night when it was announced, I didn't quite know what to say other than, uh, I wish my parents were here to see it. Mm -hmm. As I've said to many people, if I ever get a speeding ticket in Windsor, I'm calling the mayor's office and say, hey, does this key, does this key do anything in this situation? Well, you're, you're, you're genuine, you're authentic, uh, you've done an amazing job over 10 years and uh, for the university, but for our city as well. So I want to thank you for that. I want to wish you and Deborah all the best. Thank you. In retirement, I know there's going to be uh, an act three here somewhere. <laughs> we just have to wait and see what's going to happen. So. Well, folks, President Alan Wildeman, he's president until the end of June. If you see him walking around the streets, if you see a moving van leaving the city, honk your horn, wave to him. He's a great guy. 
We're sorry to see him go, but we're looking forward to working with the next president of the University of Windsor. Uh, Doug Neal will be here uh, replacing you, I think, right. at the end right. of the month. That's right. And, uh, and we're going to continue to move things forward. That's right. And build on the success that you've had here over the last decade. Yeah, he's going to do a great job. So thank you. We'll be good. Thank you very okay. much. Right. That's it for this edition of Mayor's Minute. Thanks for watching. If there's someone you want to meet or someplace you want to see in the city of Windsor, drop us a line at the email address on the screen.